All right, YouTube, welcome back. Uh, as some of you know, I've been building a, a dune bike. If you've been following my Instagram. So basically, what it is, it's a 2009 CRF 450R, and I got it. It's pretty much stock and beat to hell. And uh, I have one that's set up for the woods, but I wanted one for the sand because we ride sand here in Oregon, and uh, I wanted a dirt bike for the sand again because I sold my other one, so I wanted to get one for permanently sand, so I decided to go out and build one from basically from scratch, but build one specifically for sand, and uh, here it is looks a lot different than it did. At the end of the video, I'll post up some pictures of when I first got it. But, uh, I think it looks sweet in my opinion. And, uh, I guess I'll start at the front. So I got these eBay special black wheels. They're actually not that bad. But, uh, and I got some of Cherby's Fort Guards. Actually, the whole full of Cherby's plastic kit. I didn't do the updated, uh, front end yet. But I'll probably be able to do that soon. Uh, I got a disc protector from China. And these wheels also came with these rim locks here that I didn't tighten down. Um, it's got a tusk rotor on there that came on it. So I decided to use that. Um, the suspension's been revalved and resprung by Factory Connection, KYB, in Washington. They set it up for my weight and for sand. Also the rear shock there. Um, the brakes are all stock. Um, I got had these off my KX250, so I put it on this Tusk clutch perch I had laying around. They're the Shorty ASV F3s, I believe. Got some Mika... Uh, Mika Metal Grips that came off my TRX 450 um, twist throttle um, Pro Taper bars and it had a Scott steering stabilizer it's like 800 bucks but the guy that I bought it from wanted to take the actual dampener off so uh, now I'm left with this mount that makes the bars really tall so I got some Seven eighths bar clamps over here. Shout out to Garrett Riddle for those. Or high side films. And yeah, I need to replace the steering stem bearings, but that's for another day. They're not bad, it's just got a tiny bit of plane. Um I got a Weisco fuel management controller. Because these things really need to be jetted up but it's not that lean but and it's got a uh, tusk aluminum throttle tube with bearing I put two OEM cables um, got the ASV brake lever too with a dust cap it's got in a Cherby's 3.2 I believe it might be a three and a half but uh, <clears throat> I never understood on Craigslist why everyone had big tanks on their 09 to 12s and that's because these things suck gas so much so that kind of sucks but I got new radiators and it didn't come with any lures so shout out to Garrett high side films again for those uh came with the blue radiator hoses which that's what I did on my 25 and I liked it um it's got a TM designs case saver I got a Sunstar front sprocket. Shout out to Garrett again for that. Um, it's got, I believe, a cam and a piston because it was rebuilt last year. Um, tusk, anodized crap, a hammerhead shifter. Um, I got. It came with all these anodized parts, so I got an OEM fill cap. I got an OEM drain plug. No, I'm one of these, and then the fill plug on the crankcase. I got another OEM one of those. Um, yeah, Trippy's plastic stock seat cover. Put a new um, filter 
in there. Um, actually, sorry. This rear shock was revalved by ProMotion because KYB couldn't do this type of shock because they didn't have springs out for it yet because they're on back order. So I had ProMotion do it right next door to them. Same thing, same, same thing. Um, it's got a DID gold O-ring chain, which I've never seen, but got a gold one on there. Got my bunk ass set up. Um, put new bearings in the chain rollers. Uh, put new linkage bearings. Uh, got a 50 tooth sprocket on the back. Shout out to Garrett again for that. Got a mod quad black anodized flag mount. <clears throat> it's got a 2016 Sierra 450 rear rotor in there. I put brand new super sprocks uh, bolts on here. Put brand new brake pads here. Um, it came and it came with these red and uh, axle spacers, which is fine because it's going with the theme. Uh, these tusk crappy axle blocks that bend came on it, and when this chain was stretched, they wanted to flip it this way, and now it's fucking stuck in the swing arm. So I gotta fix that. Um, got the Lucas Oil Honda Racing Flu Designs graphics on here. Um, just put those on this morning, actually. Got to finish with those. Um, it's got an FMF PowerCore 4, and it's cut an inch and a half. Inch and a half on the top, and a half inch on the bottom. Actually, sorry. Inch and a half on the um, bottom, and a half on top. And it looks way better because it used to stick out to where this was. Like this piece right here used to be where the end of this was and it just looked weird. So I cut that. Took the sticker off. And it's got a, uh, a power bomb. Not the not the um, mega bomb, but just a power bomb. And I uh, put a brand new um, EBC clutch and springs in here. I want to eventually upgrade to the Henson billet proof six spring conversion because it's a lot better and it's got six springs instead of four so it's on a piece of shit uh it's got a tusk brake lever which actually i like it's got warp nine pegs um yeah that's pretty much it visible here i'm sure i'm missing some stuff um put a a 1.1 instead of a 1 like stock uh yeah that's pretty much it um but yeah that so far um i bought this bike for 2600 bucks which is actually a pretty good deal for a two, for a 2009 fuel injected 450 that was running and riding so basically <clears throat> it was all red uh, almost every single bearing on the bike except for the motor was bad Sprockets were chewed just the wheel bearings were so bad that when you're going and uh, here, I'll show you. I Don't know if you can see it, but uh it was wearing holes in the spoke nut rims Yeah, that's how loose they got but this front tire came on it Which isn't bad, it's still good. Um, wheel bearings aren't good, but I had this tire off my KX laying around just to go try it in that paddle. Um, it came with this ASV clutch perch, but the bearings were like destroyed in them. So I got a rebuild kit from ASV. I just rebuilt that. Um, I just need to get a new spring for this right here because that ain't holding its tension like it should. And then after that, I think I'm going to run the longer one instead of the shorter one like I have on there. And uh, here's the old clutch springs. I originally had the uh, Tusk clutch perch on here that I had laying around for my 400DX. And this wasn't like where the cable connects wasn't far enough from the perch 
So I was just having to extend the cable to the max length just to get it broke in and after that it was loose as hell but uh, got a tusk brake lever to match it because I thought it was going to work but it's not so that's brand new so if you want it let me know I'll send it to you. Uh, uh, that's pretty much all. Oh yeah and I got this uh, TRX 450 lowering link from Garrett again. Shout out to you. Yeah, and I also got this uh, MSR actual clutch perch that's made for a 450, so I'll bring this along on my first ride, and actually second ride, because I took it out once to Florence, and uh, it was, it was alright, I didn't have it completely done yet, like the radiators were still bent to hell. And the uh, clutch was acting up, and I didn't have the programmer, and yeah, the clutch plates were so bad that the 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 fibers were metal on metal, so that's good, but I gotta, I gotta wipe that up, but other than that, this bike looks sick in my opinion. I mean, it's nothing like super special, but for a sand bike... That's just going to get destroyed. The spike's really nice. So, Yeah, my plan is to keep it. And uh, probably this winter, uh, do a top end on it. And while I'm in there, check the rod bearings. Might end up pulling the motor out. But just to do a top end, I've never done it before on a four-stroke. I've done it on a two-stroke. But it seems pretty simple. But, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, and I also rebuilt <clears throat> the water pump because that was bad. So, yeah, this is uh, my 2009 CR450 dune bike build, I guess you could say. And, uh, yeah, this bike is just like exactly how I wanted to build it. And, uh, yeah, if you got any more, uh, ideas or suggestions for the next bike build and I don't know I kind of want to build a bike um, for the woods uh, like a, a used one like this for uh, um, races like hair scrambles and uh, woods races because I did one of those on my own 25 that's how I bought this saw my own 25 but did one on my own 25 and it was it was really fun i just didn't have a bike set up for it but what i might end up doing is getting a rear black rear wheel or respoking my other wheel and putting a knobby on it and uh because this suspension is already set up for my weight it's just set a little bit softer for the sand but what i might end up doing is getting a different rear wheel and then uh making this a woods bike also because it's already got the big tank i have hand guards i'll just put the hand guards on uh that's pretty much it i mean it would be nice to have a steering stabilizer in the woods but don't really want to spend six hundred dollars on something that i probably won't even be using but i'll just get the uh the uh, OEM one back because they took it off and they put the other one on there. So I'll just get an OEM steering stabilizer. That should be good enough. Or pulling off my 16. But uh, yeah, if y'all are at the Oregon Dunes, hit me up. My Instagram, Hunter314Colette, C O L L E T T. And uh, hit me up. We'll uh, go out there and rip. Alright.